people come in here and ask to be married. And they minister to them. They minister to them about the gospel. They minister to them about what a relationship in God looks like. And I want to pray for their support and for their courage. And I want you to continue to pray for them even after we leave here tonight and all through the weeks. And especially this week as we watch what's happening in San Francisco with the Ninth Circuit. That they have the courage to stand and knowing that we will all stand with them. Amen? Amen. So Father, we do come before you finally here tonight. And we exalt your name and thank you for marriages. We know that there are marriages falling apart in our community and around this world. And we also recognize that that is a travesty, that it is something that is grievous to you. And we want to exalt marriage. We want to have strong marriages. We pray that every person that has come here and every person that will come here will have good counsel. And they will learn what it means to be committed to a husband or to a wife and to have that union between one man and one woman for life and to commit themselves to it before you and before men so that we can stand and that we can show in the grace of God and in the mercy of God what a good marriage looks like. So we pray for households in this county. We pray for households across the nation and around the globe and that you would establish strong leadership in the homes. The priesthood of the man in the home and leading his wife and leading his children, leading his grandchildren by example and by the word of God. And that you would allow the wives the tender giftings that you give them as they nurture their families and manage their homes and all the servanthood that they provide to those around them and to the churches. And Lord, we pray for the churches, all the churches of our community. We love the pastors. We love the body of Christ. And we ask, Lord, that you would strengthen and guide and embolden every pulpit in this county. And that you would spread that across the nation, that we would be ready to say we're going to stand upon the word of God uncompromisingly in love. And Lord, that you would bathe us afresh in your love for every person of every walk of life. And that we will embrace them and share the love that you have shared with us, the gospel of truth, the hope, the mercy of God extended towards sinful men of which every one of us recognize our need as ones who need a savior, sinners, and now saved by grace, alone in Christ alone. And we give you praise, Lord. As we leave this place, let us go in peace. And Lord, let us go in courage. Let us go challenged, revived. Breathe upon us, Lord. Breathe upon our community. Your grace and truth, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Greet one another as you go.